Hello pilots, welcome back to the next video in the Admiral RX600 Stability Plus Gyro Series and today we're talking about binding up your Admiral RX uh, receiver gyro combination and then proper installation in your model uh, and a few tips on how to do it. Today we're using a, uh, we just got the fuselage of the Flightline Corsair in front of me and I already have everything plugged in. So let's first talk about uh, how to plug in everything on your Admiral Gyro. Let me zoom in a little bit and you will see all the ports on the side. I have all the proper things plugged in. So I've got the throttle in the throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, landing gear, and then in the aux one is where I put my flaps. So standard for some warbirds or jets, you're pretty much always gonna have this configuration. And then the beauty too of this receiver is your bind button can act as a seventh channel uh, once you're done binding. So you take the bind plug out. So uh, that's pretty good. And now let's talk about getting it bound up. So very simply, all you're gonna need is a bind plug. So we're gonna get the bind plug into the bind port, which is right over here. There, now that's in. And now that's pretty much it as far as getting it bound up. Now you're gonna give the receiver power. And now you see the lights flashing, that means it is in bind mode. You can hear the ESC going, so let me zoom out. And now on my Spectrum, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna push the bind button, push and hold it, and then you're gonna just turn on your transmitter and you're gonna wait. Now you saw the light go solid, you heard bind complete, we are now fully bound and I still have the elevator and rudder and you can hear that those are working. So now your receiver is all bound up. Next, very next step uh, I would do is unplug the power and then you want to pull out that bind plug. So that next time you plug it in, you don't forget, you'd have to rebind it when it goes back into bind mode. So now that is gone. So now let's talk about placement. So the Admiral RX600 Stability Plus Gyro can only be mounted in one direction. The front of my aircraft is to the bottom of the screen. The back of the aircraft is uh, to the top of the screen. So that's the only position you're able to mount this gyro. You cannot mount it sideways. You cannot mount it upside down. It needs to be mounted this way. And you'd like to be able, in a perfect world, you want to get it as close to the CG as possible. Um, Obviously, depending on the lead lengths and where you, if you have a multifunction control box or other things, sometimes that's not always the case and I can never, and I've had my gyro mounted in the nose of aircraft before, I've never seen a problem with them uh, depending on where I've mounted them. For the most part, uh, it always works, but the closer I could get to the CG is where you want it. So I'm thinking my mounting position, I have it on my Corsair is gonna be right over here. I like a position with the antennas closer to the fuselage, so I have, uh, nothing's gonna get in the way of the antennas. If I put the gyro over here, then I'm gonna have to figure out where I wanna tape my uh, antennas down so that I don't have any batteries on top of them or other things. You don't want anything obstructing your antennas. So I already put some 3M tape just for this demonstration on the back, but you get a nice fresh set of 3M tape when you get your Admiral. So I'm gonna put that here is probably gonna be my final resting place. And then what I would do is, I'm gonna move the camera, show you on the side here. Then you wanna make sure your antennas are going to be 90 degrees from each other. So if one antenna is going one direction, I want the other antenna either going up 90 degrees or to the side 90 degrees. So you definitely want that 90 degree separation on your antennas so that you get the most coverage uh, when you're in the sky. If you leave your antennas too close to one another or in the same direction, then you're losing out and you could risk getting a, a cutoff or um, just losing signal entirely, and that's something we never want to happen. So be mindful of that when you're uh, when you're installing your Admiral Gyro. 
But other than that, that's all you need to do as far as binding and installing your uh, Admiral RX Gyro. I hope this video helps everybody out. Look out for the next video in this series, a uh, brand new series on the Admiral RX Stability Plus Gyro, and we'll see you in the next video.